Today the trial before the court is the felony of leaving the lights on. The accuser, Olivia Rehill, and the accused, Jen LeBlanc. Both the accuser and the accused have witnesses pleading their case. Ms. Rehill, please identify the felony that Ms. LeBlanc has committed. I was informed that Ms. LeBlanc was going on a two-week ski trip. I was informed that she was leaving April 20th and returning May 4th. But on April 24th, I realized that she had left the lights on upstairs. I was sure I turned the lights off when I left. Maybe Ms. Rehill is lying. Do you have any proof for witnesses, Ms. Rehill? Yes, my client has one witness named Gracie McDougall. Gracie, please come to the podium. On April 24th, when I was walking my pet hamsters, <laughs> I noticed that the lights upstairs in Ms. LeBlanc's house were left on. My client did no such thing. Gracie, no pets in the courtroom. Okay, now let's hear from Ms. LeBlanc's witness. I took care of the house all weekend, and there wasn't once a light left on. Wait, the day after Miss LeBlanc left, I saw you drive away, and you didn't come back. I paid you for the whole two weeks, and you weren't taking care of my house? I did nothing of the sort. Silence. Leaving the lights on is a very serious matter. My maid must have left the lights on, because I'm positive I didn't leave any lights on when I left. Okay, let's go to the jury. Who believes that Miss LeBlanc's maid was guilty? The jury has spoken. Ms. LeBlanc's maid has been sentenced to two years in jail and three years without power. Silence. Leaving the lights on is a very serious matter. <laughs> oh, she's supposed to be. Ready. Oh my god. Okay. My client did no such thing. When I was walking my pet hamsters, I noticed that... <laughs> oh my God. April 24th, when I was walking my pet hamsters, I noticed that... <laughs>